Hello and welcome to another eBay tutorial video. If you're new to this channel, um, I've been selling on eBay for quite a few years now. I've made over a million dollars worth of sale, sales and I've taught hundreds of people my secrets and I've got many students making thousands every single month. Uh, so if you want to learn a little bit about eBay, maybe you, you're thinking of selling on eBay yourself, maybe you're thinking of quitting your 9 to 5 job, you want to make more money for, for more toys, you want to build yourself a better future, whatever the reason, um, eBay is a perfect opportunity to make more money from home, all from the comfort of your own home. You know, you haven't got to go to work, you haven't got to talk to your boss, you haven't got to answer to anybody. Uh, you're your own boss, you can work your own hours, you can kind of do what you want and how much money you want to make kind of depends on you. You know, the more effort you give this, the more money you can make. There's many people making multiple millions of dollars every single year just by selling on eBay, just even from home. Uh, so you can kind of take this business as far as you like. Or even if you just want to make a bit of extra cash on the side, you might have some stuff laying around the house, you just want to sell it, you can do that too. Uh, so in the last video, uh, we spoke about how I go about one of the tactics I use of finding products and we just briefly covered of how I find products and, in, and then how where to get them from uh, and that sort of stuff. In this video uh, I've had a few comments with people asking me in the past how do you know if a seller is legitimate? Uh, because you know we're buying this stuff sometimes from Chinese wholesale places sometimes just like on eBay some people are not honest. So you want to make sure when you buy your inventory that you buy it from trusted sellers. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to find trusted sellers just to minimise the risk uh, and all that sort of stuff. So I'll get a lot of my stuff from AliExpress. Not everything. Uh, some of my stuff comes from other places, but AliExpress is one of the easiest places that you can order from. It's pretty easy to use. If you can use eBay, if you know how to buy on eBay, it's pretty much the same, exact same procedure. Uh, buying on AliExpress is pretty much like a Chinese e eBay site almost, but it's more of a wholesale place, so you can get stuff really cheap. Uh, so the same as on eBay, uh, it has a feedback system, you can check out sellers. Uh, and not only that, uh, they've got a little system that when you buy stuff, you have to sort of fill in a little form at the end to say that you're happy, and then the buyer gets released his money. If you don't do that, that I mean the seller gets released the money. If, if you don't do that, if you don't... Uh, acknowledge that you've received the goods and you're happy, then the seller on AliExpress does not get paid. So it's in their best interest to make sure that they deliver on their promise. But there's always some dodgy sellers out there. There always are. So I'm, I'm going to show you how to filter those out and how to buy from decent sellers. Uh, so the product that we looked at in the last video uh, was this thing here. And this is like a storage box for false eyelashes. And this dude, he's been killing it, selling loads of these. He's been making probably over $2,000, pounds even, which is more, it's probably about $3,000 every single month by selling these items on eBay. And he's been selling so many that it's actually sold out. Uh, so um, if we click on the item sold now, uh, I think when I've done this the last video, it was on the 28th and he sold like, I think 29 items or something, but it was on the 28th, maybe it might've been a little bit more. And I had a quick count up on the 30th and he sold about 30 items. So this dude is absolutely killing it. Uh, now he's sold out, so uh, yeah, he should have maybe ordered more in that scenario. Uh, but in any case, so we wanna sell this item. So what we did last time is we went to AliExpress and we searched for that item on AliExpress and a, and a whole load of sellers came out for a whole load of different prices. I didn't do too much research for the best price because you know you can do that in your own time. I could sit here for an hour trying to find the best price. Um, you know, I've just done it for the uh, purpose of the video. So I'm gonna do the same here. It's just purpose of the video. You know, once when, when you're researching products, uh, I recommend you spend a lot more time and try and, and, try and find the ultimate best price and, and the best deal from the best supplier. Uh, so first of all, it works like on a feedback system. So you can see down here, uh, you can see that five star, that is the top. If they've got a little five here next to that little star, that's a top rated uh, seller in, in that scenario, or, or that product is anyway. Uh, so first of all, you wanna make sure that if you buy something, you wanna buy it from someone that's got like at least a 4.5 star. You know, if we see this person here's got a 2.7, I would stay away from that person, just, just completely avoid it. Uh, so if we have a look at this person now, for example, uh, you see up here, you, you see sort of like the stores, uh, sort of like characteristics and stuff. 
Uh, so you can see they've got a 96.2% positive feedback, which on AliExpress is actually pretty good. You know, as long as it's in the 90% upwards, I would trust the seller. Uh, you know, as long as it's been a seller that's been going for a while. Uh, and then if we look on here, we can see when the store opened. So it's opened in March 2017. So that's good. You know, it's been going for a while. You don't, you don't really, well, I don't get much confidence buying from a brand new store because they haven't built up any reputation there. You know, I'm not saying that they're a scam. You know, every store's got to start somewhere. You've got to start with zero. Uh, but if I was to buy something from a store with barely any history, it would only be something very cheap. Uh, but in, in any case, AliExpress, they would refund you the money anyway if you didn't get it or it wasn't as des as described. So you haven't got to worry about that. It's just to try and save problems so you get your, your stuff. You don't want to spend two months waiting for something. You know, here it says 30 to 50 days. Uh, sometimes stuff can come in a couple of weeks, sometimes a couple of months. But you don't want to, you don't want to expect the stuff to come in four weeks and then it doesn't come at all. Then you've got to put through the process of filing for, to get your money back. Uh, and then have to reorder from somebody else. You know, we want our stuff so we can stick it on eBay and we can make money. So we've got to find decent sellers. So uh, this product here, uh, 2.7 out of 5 stars. I mean, I'd stay away from that. So 5 star rating, but he's only had one review. Uh, he's had 54 orders, one review. So, mm, and then if we come up here, we have a little look at the store. He only started in, in October 2019. So let's have a little click on there. Have a little look what's going on. Uh, so item as described, 4.7. Well, that's, that's not too bad. 4.5 for communication. 4.3 uh, below average for shipping speed. I mean, that's not too bad. I mean, I would probably buy from this person. They've got 97%. Uh, as long as they've got, say, 4.5 or over on the stars. I mean, you know, obviously, if you've got two different suppliers where you can get that, it's the same item for the same price, if, if one person's got an average of 4.5 and the next seller's got an average of 5, then I'd go with a seller that's got 5. But, I mean, I wouldn't be put off with somebody that's got an average of these. I mean, that's not that's not actually bad at all. Uh, so, I'm just trying to find a really bad seller. Uh, da, 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 da. So, he's only sold one. That's got a 5, 19 sold. That's got a five star, but he's only sold two. You know, you want something that's had a bit of volume behind it and a bit of history. See this one here, he sold 28. Oh, this one here, he sold 95, but he's only got a 3.5 star rating. Uh, so let's have a look. 97% feedback, yeah, that's not bad. I mean, let's have a little look what's going on there. I mean, they've been trading since August 2019, so not a massive amount. I mean, the longer a store's been trading for, the more trust I give it. If I can find a store that's been trading for two or three years or more, then I'm going to have a lot more trust in a store like that. So this is pretty much all you want to do. You know, I could, I could just keep going through here looking at loads of these. Uh, and you just want to do your research. You know, once you've narrowed down maybe 10 products from 10 different sellers, uh, just, just go through and just see... If they, if they look trustworthy? Have they got the sales history? Have they got the star rating? Have they got the feedback? Have they been trading for like a couple of years? You know, they're all, all things you want to look at. And, you know, if, if it's a store that's only out there that's to rip people off, they're not going to be about for long. So let's have a look at one more. Uh, this one here, five star rating, 12 sold. Uh, it's 12 orders. So out of the 12 orders, these are two reviews. It's not much volume there. You know, you'd be better off going with someone that's got more volume. Uh, but still, 93% oh, starting to get a little bit not as good. I mean, I'd have 90% as the absolute minimum. Any less than that, I wouldn't buy at all. But this is starting to get along the, the worse side. So, uh, you know, unless I can't get this product from anybody else, I probably wouldn't go there. Uh, you know, this is one of the longest parts of the eBay game. It's just, it's just um, doing research, just looking, seeing, trying to find the best product. Uh, so this one here, 96% feedback, not bad, going since September. Mm, yeah, not bad, but then the star rating here is not bad. So I would probably buy this from this person. You know, there's no reason why I wouldn't. Uh, another thing that people say to me quite often is, Kev, I've been doing some research on AliExpress, and you can find the stuff cheaper on eBay. Yes, sometimes that is the case. You can find stuff cheaper on eBay. So if we were to do this same search on eBay, for example you may well find that you can find these cheaper from China. You, you know, maybe you do, maybe you don't. I mean, if you can find these products cheaper on eBay, 
from a Chinese eBay store, then buy them from Chinese eBay store, get them shipped to you, and then sell them on your local eBay store, like in the UK or in America. Uh, so the same here, the same research. Click on one of these and just, just have a look at their feedback. I mean, he's got one feedback, so I probably wouldn't buy. You know, I'm not, not to say that he's bad. Everybody's got to start somewhere, but I'd rather go with somebody that's got some history behind them. And when we're looking at eBay feedback, I'm expecting the eBay feedback to be even better. So, you know, 99%, I'm expecting everybody really, any good seller should have 98, 99% feedback. If somebody on eBay has only got a 99% feedback, they're probably gonna be a really dodgy seller. On AliExpress, a 90% feedback is actually not too bad. You know, there's, because there's a longer waiting time on AliExpress because we're, we're buying from abroad. You know, the stuff might get held up in customs, all that sort of stuff. And, um, you know, people might give it a bad rating based on that experience. Whilst on eBay, uh, usually you get the shipping quicker. So, you know, on eBay, I would aim when you're buying for feedback higher than 98%. On AliExpress, I would aim for feedback, well, you know, as I said, minimum of 90%. Aim for something above 95%. But it's going to be rare on AliExpress to find sellers that are sort of 99% like on eBay. It doesn't, doesn't really happen. So don't let that worry you too much. So um, if you can find these products cheaper from a Chinese eBay store, then go ahead and buy them from China. Now, some people said they've been doing the research on products and sometimes even locally, um, like here in the UK, for example. So if we go back to the listings, uh, UK only, uh, people have said, well, Kev, uh, you can buy the stuff cheaper here in the UK than you can from China sometimes. Sometimes that can be the case too. That can sometimes be the case. You know, not every product's going to be a winning uh, product. You're going to have to do some research. You're going to have to find different products. You know, only one in 10 products might be good. You might get days where every product's good. You might get other days where you check out 100 products and they're, and they're all not any good. It's all swings and roundabouts. Sometimes you find a load of good products, sometimes you don't. Uh, but... What you want to do when you're pricing up an item, I'm, just, I'm giving you a whole ton of value here, guys. Most of this value, what, what I teach people, is in my full eBay programs. This stuff I'm teaching on, uh, uh, on YouTube is kind of like a toned down version just to give you the gist of it. If you want the full blueprint, everything that I know and everything that I've taught to hundreds of my students, and that's going to be in the program, that's in the link down below. So, you know, it wouldn't be fair if I shared everything in my program on YouTube because it wouldn't be fair on those people that enrolled in the full program. Uh, but in any case, uh, I can share some of the stuff for you guys. I can get you guys dipping your toes into the water to see if this eBay game is for you. And then if it's for you and you really want to scale it up, then maybe you can take it a step further. It's kind of down to you. Now, that's the beauty of eBay. You can work at it for 10 minutes a day. You could make it your full-time job. It's, it's different for everybody. Uh, so, so what I was saying is, is if, you, if you're finding someone selling these, uh, saying, for example, well, I don't know. I mean, I know we can get this a lot cheaper than this, so this is a bad example. But saying that, that this person is selling this at a loss, because sometimes people do. Sometimes sellers do sell stuff at a loss just to try and wipe out the competition. And playing the being the cheapest game often leads, normally, if you do it too much, will lead to you going out of business, going bankrupt. So um, what you want to do is if, if he's selling these for, say, £4.70, I know it's a bad example because I know we can get these for dirt cheap. Uh, but saying, for example, we couldn't and we could, we would have to pay the same price on AliExpress. Uh, don't always let that put you off because you can sometimes do a better listing. You know, we're not aiming to be the cheapest. We're, we're aiming to be the most expensive seller that can actually sell the product. So what you want to do is come back to your normal search results uh, click UK only or if you're from America, America only, US only. Just keep it to your local area and then come down to completed items. Uh, and then what you want to do, you want to search it by price highest first. And what you want to do, this is my tactics. And this is what I do with all of my products and this is where I get the best results. You want to price your item slightly a little bit cheaper than the person that's making the most expensive sales. So saying this person here, he's selling these at 13 pounds. I mean, these are a little bit difficult to, to work out because they're doing listing variations. You know, you can select if you want 25 or 50. So I'm gonna ignore those for now, just for the purpose of this video. So look at the one that's selling it the highest price. I mean, he's selling 25 to 50. I mean, we was looking at selling 10. So if we was looking at selling 10, so here, 10 set. He's selling, oh, this is something completely different. 
So you want to find the same product and the highest price. So here, 25, you're selling 25, 25, 25. I'm just trying to find someone that's selling 10 for the same product. Uh, so here, this person here. So he's selling 10 of these for £2.99 plus £3 shipping. That's £6. So we know that if we sell at slightly less than that, maybe we sell it at like £5.70 like the other seller was, uh, we know that we should be able to make sales, and especially if we can make the listing better. I found there to be 11 things that you have to do to make a listing sell. And if you get one of those 11 things wrong, you're going to really seriously limit the amount that you're going to sell. Now, I've got this 11 thing cheat sheet. I've got that in on the full program. Uh, some, some of the things are really obvious, like, you know, you've got to get the description right. You've got to get the photo right. Uh, have a quick look in there what's going on i mean we're probably going to find a whole lot of things that this seller can do better i mean he's only sold one here uh but he could have definitely done the better photos the, the photo here is absolutely awful uh we could make that a hundred times better i know that for a fact uh we can build up more feedback uh, quite low feedback you know uh, one of the easiest ways to build feedback is just to buy a whole load of cheap stuff just to just to uh, build up feedback and then you can even sell that cheap stuff back on you know, you can find items that cost you one dollar and um, you can just buy them and then sell them again and you're building up feedback. So we can easily get this up a lot higher than that. Uh, so better feedback, delivery time, four to seven days. We can easily better that. We can be next working day and we can have a little fast and free logo here. What's going to rank us even higher. Uh, description, absolutely awful. We can do that a lot, lot better. I mean, it's small. Uh, it doesn't look professional. I mean, you're just not even going to bother reading that. I'd, I'd be I'd be putting bullet points in here. I'd be making it bigger. Uh, what else have we got going on down here? Uh, it doesn't even say a returns policy. So, you know, if we have a returns policy, we're going to make many more sales. So I can straight away, I can see about four or five things on here that this seller can do uh, that's going to make him a whole load of more sales. And as I said, I've got 11 of these things in, the, uh, in my eBay Blueprint program. Uh, 11 things that you have to get right. And these are all 11 things that I've tested for years and years and years. I've spent about $50,000 of my, of my own money testing different products and testing all of these 11 things and testing different things to see what combination of things get the sales in. It's all years and years of testing, thousands of dollars worth of testing. And, and that's, all, that's all the stuff that I've got in my eBay seller blueprint. Uh, so that is it for this video. If you're interested in more of these videos, let me know. In the next video, I'm going to dig a little bit deeper uh, of finding finding products on AliExpress, uh, what to look out for, what not to look out for. Uh, and then we're going to go into actually building a listing. I'm going to show you how to build your listing. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm only going to give you a quick run through. I'm not going to give you the whole shabam, you know, my whole eBay program. Uh, it's got dozens and dozens and dozens of videos on there you've got like hours and hours and hours and hours of content it's way 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 too much that i can go over uh on youtube and it, as i said it's not fair on those people that paid for the full program uh but you know this stuff that i'm teaching you is going to help you dip your toes into the water get you making some money and uh you know you can kind of then know if this is something that you want to do or not uh, so that is it for this video, guys. Uh, I mean, build yourself that better future. The better future is out there for those that take action, for those that learn, for those that take action, for those that better life is out there. You know, be it Lamborghinis, be it, be it nice houses, you want to go on vacation, you, you want to work for yourself, no matter what it is that you want out of life. Running your own home-based business is one of the best and easiest ways to get to your dreams. Uh, so, you know, if that sounds good to you guys, uh, subscribe to this channel. I've got more videos coming up. I also do a lot of mindset videos on this channel, channel as well because, you know, in order to be successful at business, you've got to have to run the right mindset. You know, there's a reason why you've got the 99% of the population and you've got the 1% the of the population because the 1% of the population uh, that have their own businesses, uh, they operate on a completely different mindset. So, you know, to be successful, to get into the 1% of the population, uh, you need to start adopting that same mindset uh, that the 1% use. Uh, so I'll share a whole load of that stuff on this channel. Uh, I'll share all practical stuff. I'm going to start sharing some YouTube tips on this channel as well. Uh, some more general business stuff. Uh, at the moment, I'm focusing on eBay. So I'll see you over in another video. Build yourself a better future. It's in your hands. If you want that better future, it's out there. you just got to grab it. All right, guys. See you soon. Bye.